You might have installed a very strong antivirus in your system, but do you think that it will protect your data when your image is being stolen or it will protect your data from offline attacks? Hey guys, this is Omlan. In this video, we are going to talk about BitLocker Drive Encryption, which comes by default with every Windows after Windows 7. So without further ado, let's begin. BitLocker Drive Encryption. So BitLocker Drive Encryption is a encryption process that comes by default with every Windows starting after Windows 7. The best way to check it if your system have BitLocker Drive Encryption or not, just go to the control panel, drive BitLocker Drive Encryption. If you get to see the BitLocker option, that means the BitLocker is already installed in your system. You just have to enable it. By default, it is not enabled. You have to manually enable it. So let's just understand what is basically BitLocker Drive Protection. Let's say you have a very strong antivirus installed in your system, but your antivirus is supposed to protect your system from the online attacks. Let's say you're browsing on Chrome or Firefox or through any web browser, but your antivirus is supposed to protect you from the online attacks like they will protect you from the malware and the online viruses if you have a very strong firewall policies or very strong antivirus installed in your system but let's suppose this case like let's uh, let's say your unit is being stolen so how do you protect your system let's say you have very important data which you don't want others to see without your permission so how do you do it so it's possible with the help of a BitLocker drive encryption, it's possible. So as I said earlier, we have to just go to the control panel and enable the BitLocker protection. So BitLocker protection uses both the 128 and 256 bit encryption to protect your data. And if by any chance, if your unit is being stolen, if you put a password on the drive itself, it will protect all of your data. Let's say uh, it could happen like your unit is being stolen but you have a windows password so the hacker is not able to get into the windows so what hacker can do hacker can also install his own operating system and through which he can access your files so BitLocker drive encryption if you have enabled already in your system so by no means the hackers cannot you know access to your files like if also they have already tried to install an operating system they will be able to install an operating system but they will not be able to access your files so and also with after, after windows 7 every windows have the BitLocker drive protection by default it comes with every windows and you know by recent days the BitLocker also have a you know uh, extension of the BitLocker drive encryption that allows you to enable also uh, rather than encrypting your uh, uh, hard disk it allows you to enable the USB thumb drive if you have an external hard disk also you can put a password strong policy and strong password uh, so you can set up a password on your pen drive you can set up a password in your hard disk so in that way you can also protect the data which is being stored in your pen drive or the external hard disk so that feature is known, known as BitLocker Drive Pro so in a minute as I said also earlier that I will be showing you and I will be giving you a real-time example how to encrypt a USB thumb drive with the help of a BitLocker drive encryption process now I have a pen drive ready I will be encrypting the pen drive and I already I have the pen drive I'll let you <coughs> guys know how to do it and let's just go into my PC and let's see how it's done. Now I'm in my PC. So the best way to find out whether you have BitLock or Drive Encryption or not, just click on search and go to the control panel. So in the control panel, search for BitLocker. This is the one BitLocker Drive Encryption. So as you can see, BitLocker Drive Encryption is there in my system. And by default, it is not enabled. You have to manually enable it. It's showing the option for what are the devices, what are the drives. You can enable the BitLocker. It's showing the option for C, D, E, F, which are the default drives I have in my system. And also as I have put my pen drive, it's showing the option. You can uh, do the encryption also for the H that means the thumb drive so you can turn on the BitLocker for any of the drive so uh, let's see how to turn this on for the pen drive 
as you can see this is the pen drive i have and if you double click it you can normally see the file so in order to encrypt it you just have to right click on this pen drive and click on the turn on bit locker it will see this pop-up starting bit locker just a wait for a few seconds and get to the new screen it says use a password to unlock the device so let's just put in my password and put the same password again then click on next so it will give you an option uh, you can save the password to your Microsoft account you can save it to a file or you can print the recovery key I just want to save it to a file so uh, just save it PAWS and it's being saved in my documents okay just let's just save it and click on next so here it will get two options like encrypt use disk space only and encrypt the entire drive I recommend encrypting the entire drive which will encrypt the entire drive and in this system in this option it will only the encrypt the disk space which is being used that means I have the let's say I have a 16 GB pen drive and already I have 4 GB of data so it will only encrypt the 4 GB data of my pen drive it will not encrypt the whole pen drive so what I recommend encrypting the entire pen drive so let's just click on this and click next again it will give you two options new encryption mode and compatible mode now new encryption mode is always there if you are <coughs> encrypting the C drive D drive E or F whichever the drives are there on your system you can do it because it's best for fixed drives on devices and if you, as I'm doing it for my pen drive so you might want to select this compatible mode because it's best for drives that can be moved from these devices like when I will be completing my encryption process I will be ejecting my pen drive from this system and I'll be putting my pen drive onto another system also I want that when I put my pen drive on another system it will ask me for the password so in that case you might want to select this compatible mode and just click on next so it give you option are you ready to encrypt this device you just have to select start encrypting so here is the option here is the pop-up you're getting it already started the encryption process so it will take some time depending on the process how much data I have it it is you know it's eight gigabytes of pen drive so it's encrypting the whole pen drive it will be definitely taking some time so I'll be back once the encryption process is done so now already I have completed the process of encrypting my thumb drive so already I have put my thumb drive I'll show you how to unlock it so let's just go to this PC you will see that uh, my uh, as I already have uh, you know uh, you know thumb drive installed in my system so it will show like this rather than showing you can access it uh, it will show a lock option on the top of your thumb drive so in order to unlock it if you just double click it it will ask you for the password so here I have to put on my password like like this so after you hit enter it will unlock your device like uh, as you get to see the lock is open now you can normally access your device let's see these are the files that I have in my device so you can access it now so without your permission in this way you can protect your thumb drive without your permission anyone cannot access your files what is being stored in your device they cannot you know access your files also if you want you can turn off the bit locker option you have just have to right click on the usb drive go to the you know manage bit locker option and it will get to see so many options because it's h drive is my thumb drive and the bit locker as you can see the status the bit locker status is on there are so many options like backup your recovery key change your password remove your password you can add a smart card turn on the auto lock and also I have an option to turn off the bit locker so I'm not gonna turn it off as of now so you can do it by turning off the bit locker option and it will be again your uh, thumb drive will be back to the normal like uh, you just don't have to put your password everyone can access it so like in the similar way so you can do it for any of the drives like C drive you can do it for you just have to right click on the C drive and turn on the bit locker option and you can similarly do it for whatever drives you have in your system but one thing guys you cannot do it for any folder like if you have any folder on let's say I have a folder in F drive if I uh, right click it you don't have an option for bit locker so bit locker drive encryption 
as it says the name implies it's drive encryption so you cannot lock any folder and subs but also obviously you can lock in a drive and you can put your folders on the drive and you can lock it obviously so this is a great security feature i recommend it so as you clearly saw that already i have you know put my password as you're seeing that this is now unlocked so again i have to you know eject it and again if i put my password you know if i again you know connect my thumb drive it will show it will ask for the password so in this way you can protect your data so as you guys saw how the encryption and the decryption process works i've showed you uh, how to do it with the help of open drive you can do it for the same for the drive you know if you have external drive and stuff yeah i understand that definitely it takes some time it takes some time depending on how much data you want to encrypt or decrypt and what is the size of your hard disk or thumb drive it definitely takes some time but you know what i personally recommend this if you want to put a password on your thumb drive or hard drive this is you know definitely i can recommend this feature of windows like windows bit lock or drive encryption so that's it for this video if you guys like the video give it a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel watching this video please consider subscribing to my channel because on a weekly basis i do make videos so that's it for this video thank you very much for watching have a great day bye bye